Yeah, welcome to my next bowl making video in a series of, of bowls out of Carol Rothman's books. I'm running behind on this one. I've run into some problems trying to get a, a bowl that I have the material to make. Now, I've skipped several bowls ahead. I was going to make uh, the one that kind of looks like a gourd that's been cut off and it's got a accent ring in the center of it. She had plywood I haven't been able to get uh, to get that accent ring to look right. I've cut two accent rings and I didn't like the way they looked, so I've abandoned that one until I can. I'm going. I order some material and I'll make my own plywood, so to speak, to try to get the effect that she did. Anyway, I've, I've got most of the blanks cut out for that one, but I'll get back to that later. Then the next two or three bowls in her book use some. Uh, seven eighths material. I don't have any seven eighths. I have a place that I can get it cut, but I don't want to spend money for the custom cut. Uh, I'll eventually make some of my own, but I need the right wood to do that with. So I bypass those also. And I'm getting a late start this week because I spent two days on those accent rings. But I'll get this up when I can. I'm not going to rush it. I want to get it, uh, make it look right if I can. But this is a basket weave bowl she calls it and you got three different materials in hers she uses uh, uh, cedar for the main part of the wood and then some paduk and she used poplar for those accent rings or what basket weave rings look stricken, sticking straight up and down uh, I don't have any of that not in those configurations so I've got some cedar uh, some walnut I'm going to substitute walnut for this and I've got this I believe it's ash that I'm going to substitute for that and I, I just flipped the colors of the wood kind of want to get a contrast and I've got some other wood I'm not sure exactly what it is for those rings that go up and down uh, unless some of this stuff came in a seconds package you don't always know what it is it's it's a nice hard wood it feels like but uh, I've used some of that before. It works real well. So I've already glued. The first step is to glue these two rings together, these two layers together. For me, it's the ash and the walnut, and I've already done that. And there's a photo of it in the in the press and in the, in the uh, clamps. So then I got to cut this right down the center. Got to cut that right down the center, and then we'll glue one of these in it. And then you have to figure the angles, as you can see. So I'm going to do that a step at a time. I'll just show you photos of it to speed it up. And I'm going to come out with this blank uh, that looks like this. And then we'll start cutting the bowls. Now she's uh, she she discovered this design by accident, and she's uh, used a smaller cutting angle to reach the flare on the sides and she cut four rings rather than three to give it uh, a deeper appearance and then the base is going to be a thin piece of this same material um, that's going to be the base of the same material as this right here for me uh, it's the same out of the same board actually so that's the base you get a thin base get you a, get a little different proportion so, uh, hopefully the photos that I did as I made this blank have already shown as we've gone by. And uh, I've got the blank ready to show you. And we'll be ready to then put, uh, you got a, you got a, uh, got a pattern on this one. I believe I might be wrong on that. Uh, yeah, no, we don't have a pattern. We're going to start making our own pattern. So... Let me let me get this blank ready and I'll show you the photos of it over what I was just saying and we'll have a blank that looks like that and then we'll go to the next step got to find the center and all that get your guidelines and we'll start cutting it and then you rotate these rings to get these effects so uh, let me get to work on this I'll take some photos as we go as I go so I can show you how I made this blank Well, there's the blank. It looks a lot like hers, except it's a different color. 
that's her finished blank right there. Mine's somewhat similar. Now, there's not an exact alignment right there, and I was concerned about that. And she said right there, uh, don't be concerned about the apparent, apparent lack of alignment. Because uh, you're not going to use this as your base. you got another piece uh, of this that we're going to use as the base. So we don't have to worry about that. And, and You're cutting out an eighth inch and adding in a quarter inch. So everything's not going to line up exactly. So anyway, I've got the center of it. I'm going to draw a seven inch circle. And we'll come in at eight, three eighths down from that and draw another circle. That'll be our first ring. And then we'll use the rings as patterns for the next ring. All the way down to, I believe there's four rings. So let me get my compass set up. I've got the center of it where I want to start. And we'll draw that first circle. I'll, already, I'll go ahead and mark the three eighths. Uh, and then I can just screw the little thumb screw down on the... Uh, Compass, come down to the next mark and draw the other one. We'll have our two marks for the uh, for the ring, first ring to cut. And I got to look here what she says because I think there's different uh, angles. We're going to use a 22 degree angle. So uh, let me get the compass set up and we'll start on the the drawing. Okay, I've set this at 22 degrees. Actually, I'm a little meter. It showed 20.22.05. So I've got uh, a number seven, Pegasus modified geometry blade. And we'll cut this outer circle, and then we'll drill an entry hole. I'll have to go set my drill press at the right angle, also, and the correct angle, and then. We'll cut that and see if it turns out better than the last time where I was off by a degree. But only time will tell, so we got to make this cut first. I've got the entry hole drill and we're going to cut this first ring, see how our angles match up, and if I needed to make any adjustment. So anyway, this will tell the tale right here. It matches up very nicely. I'm very pleased with that. Don't have any problems with the angle matchup. So it's going to go pretty good, looks like. And I'll get this next string drawn and get it cut. Okay, it's all cut out except for the base. I used the bottom ring to draw the outline on those other little pieces left over. I haven't cut it yet. 
I'm going to work on this right now. I'm very pleased with the way it's matching up. And that's kind of a rough idea of how it's going to look. And uh, the critical part now is gluing it together and getting it lined up correctly. So I'm going to start one, two, the first two rings. I'm going to work from the bottom up and get the first two in the alignment I want. Make sure that they're good before I continue on. And uh, do each ring in, along with that as I go up. And then it'll be a matter of sanding the inside. So let me start working on gluing it and making sure I got the alignment correct. All right, so I got it glued together, and there's the base I've cut out. I haven't glued that on yet because I got to sand the internal parts. You can see what kind of effect we're going to have. I'm very pleased with it. It's matching up very nice, and I think it's uh, looking the way it's supposed to. So, what I got to do now? I'm gonna sand the inside. The uh, worst part of the sanding will be the drill marks, but get that all lined out and smoothed out and uh, get those drill marks out. And then I'll glue the base on and glue the outside and then we'll figure out what kind of a finish we'll put on it. But that's where we are right now. I got to sand it so let me get started sanding on it. If I don't have any, any issues I'll come back and we'll, we'll look at it and see what's going on but uh, I don't see, foresee any real problems here. So let me get started on that and I'll check back in later. Well, it's sanding out very nicely. I think I pretty well got the inside the way I wanted. I'm going to go over it with a little finer grit. It won't take me long to do that. And then I'm going to glue the base on it. And then I'll go sand the outside. But I really like the way it's looking. I got the drill marks out of it. And I managed to keep it pretty much round and proportioned. So, let me do a little lighter sanding on that. A little, little lighter sandpaper. Smooth it off a little bit more. I think that was a 60 or an 80 grit I had on it. I'll go a little finer and then I'll glue the bottom on. Okay, I got the base on. Now I'm going to go take it to the belt sander and sand the outside. And then I'm going to take the, go back to the drill press and take the inflatable ball sander and take that little corner off right on the inside and kind of flare it ever so slightly. Just to give it a little finished look on top. But right now I've got to get the, uh, the outside sanded. Well, I'm going to call this one done enough for the video. I'd like to finish, put some more finish on it. I've got one coat of wipe on poly and it's going to take several days to get as many as I really want on it. But uh, this brought that out the color and then the grain. Now, it's not near as nice as hers. It's got some areas there that look really nice. But she used a different wood. She had cedar and paduke. And this uh, this still gives me the design. That's where, what I was after. I got the design. And I'm really pleased with this one. Uh, I'd like to have a little better looking wood. That's not bad. But I'd like something that would really pop and look good like hers did. But I like the design. I like the way that came out. That worked. The real key to these bowls is... Uh, making the blank in the proper configuration and then cutting it accurately and then sanding Sanding is where you really get these bowls looking right. I just lip that uh, Edge just a little bit to give it a little bit of a finished look. I didn't give it much It would look better with a nice hardwood that was nice and shiny But this is what I had and I was able to carry this through and, and make it work. I'm pleased with it I hope you like it and if you do, hit the like button. And if you're not subscribed, if it's your first time to see these bowls, hit the subscribe button. I've got a whole playlist of these. 
and I'm going to have some more. I got some more material ordered and some of them get a little more exotic in shapes and what have you, but uh, I really like these these bowls you can make these designs in. So thanks for watching and uh, hopefully I'll have one up again next week. Uh, thanks for watching and I uh, hope to see you in that one.